We'll look at the pipe bending. Yesterday, you did soldering, cutting, right, the jointing, just using the solder method. Okay? Okay. That's one method you can change the direction with pipe. Another method is we're going to look at is pipe bending, which is a skill that you need to practice. And after today, we're going to practice frames, you're going to be practicing everything we put together. You're going to do jointing again, but different bends, but we're going to learn about precision bending. And that's the skill you need to practice. Okay? The main advantage with that is, one, there are no leaks because there are no joints. Secondly, it looks more professional. Okay? And that's what we're trying to stand up and trying to aim for. Right, so we're going to use hand scissor benders. Okay? <coughs> Standard set, straight arm benders. Okay? Parts are handles. Okay? Make sure you maximise the lever principle. Hold them at the ends. Okay? Makes bending easier. Okay? Moving up, got the rollers, the formers, okay, which form the bend. And come with it, you've got a 15mm guide. And there's also a 22 millimeter guide, so we've got 15 and 22 millimeter. That's all you can do with these scissor benders. Okay? Any bigger pipe, then you need tripod benders, which are a lot bigger. Okay? You get the guide. The guide guides the pipe around the former, okay? so it supports it all the way around. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Checks that you need to do when you open the benders. You need to make sure there's a gap between the arm and the stop, so the stop can freely move. And you can open the benders too far and the stop won't move. Okay? Just close it with the left hand so we can operate the stop. Check the rollers move freely. Then check all the nuts are tight. Okay? It's especially important on 22mm. Okay? You need to add a lot more effort for 22mm. Okay? This roller, when you put the form in, the pressure is square on into the former. If you don't check this nut and you bend in 22, this nut comes loose because it presses tight onto the guide and as you roll, that will press onto the nut and slowly undo. If that bolt is sticking out and you put pressure on it, it bends it and now the pressure is pointing that way. Okay. The side of the former is not designed to take the pressure you're putting on it. Okay, so if that's bent and you put some on there, that's going to shear off and you're going to end up wearing it. Okay, to start off with, okay, we're going to do a 90 degree bend. Okay. Start off with a piece of pipe, pre measured, we've got 300 millimeter pieces of pipe. Points to note with 300, uh, 90 degree bends are you must put the top of the bender where you measure from. It's the only bend we're going to deal with right, where you measure from must be at this end. Okay? So, on this particular piece of pipe, I'm going to measure from this end. I've got a big pen so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? Okay? I'm going to measure from that end. Okay? I'm going to measure down exactly 150 millimeters. Okay? Because I want that to be my new center line. Okay? So, when I bent the pipe, exactly how it's going to sit from a set point bent round to an exact center line exactly where I need it Happy with that? So where I've measured from center line but you need to go back half a diameter in this case seven and a half mil because we're with 15 mil pipe okay, so the pipe marking now should look like that where I've measured from to my center line back half a diameter. So, <coughs> then you just pop it in the bender. Now when you pop it in the bender, okay, to start with you'll feel like you need three hands. Okay. Pipe goes first in your right hand. Stop, finger and thumb. Guide. Now look at the guide. It's got a curved edge. Top tip gents, curved edge towards the pipe. Right. And slide it in just short of the stop. So it's pipe, stop, guide. Change hands, close the benders. Right. Close them until it holds the pipe in position. Doesn't matter where it is yet, don't worry about it, because okay, we're going to now position it properly. 
need your set square. Fat bit, thin bit. Put the fat bit on the pipe. Push it inside the former. Now, we've measured from there. Okay. There's our center line. There is our seven and a half mil line, isn't it? Okay. That's the one we need. Okay. So we need that line in line with our square. You can see at the moment it's too high, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just tap it down. Tap gently. Push for more. Right. Then you can see now that's in position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up with that? Yeah. Yep. Now what I want you to do is grab a piece of pipe, mark it on one end, measure down 150, go back seven and a half mil. Mm -hmm. Then put it in the bend in the right position.